aftermath of the Second World War. Its purpose was to secure peace in Europe, to promote cooperation among its members, and to guard their freedom. All of this in the context of countering the threat posed at the time by the Soviet Union. The Alliance's founding treaty was signed in Washington in 1949 by a dozen European and North American countries. It commits the Allies to democracy, individual liberty, and the rule of law, as well as to peaceful resolution of disputes. Importantly, the treaty sets out the idea of collective defense, meaning that an attack against one ally is considered as an attack against all allies. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, ensures that the security of its European member countries is inseparably linked started with 12 member countries in 1949. However, the founding treaty allows for other European nations to join the alliance, as long as all existing allies agree. Any prospective member must share NATO's core values and have the capacity and willingness to contribute to security in the Euro-Atlantic area. Today, NATO has 30 members who are stronger and safer together. For seven decades, NATO has ensured peace within its territory. While threats and the way NATO deals with them have evolved over time, the purpose, values and founding principles of the Alliance do not change. For its first four decades, the Cold War defined the Alliance. Collective defense was NATO's main role. When that confrontation ended in 1989, and with the collapse of the Soviet Union, some said that NATO had fulfilled its purpose, that it was no longer needed. And yet the Alliance is still here today. So why has NATO stood the test of time? The end of the Cold War offered hope for progress and peace, but it also ushered in a new era of instability. NATO has responded to changes in the security environment by shifting its focus and taking on new tasks. Beyond ensuring the collective defense of its members, NATO seeks to promote security through partnership and cooperation. Since the early 1990s, the Alliance has developed relations with non-member countries, including former Cold War adversaries of the former Eastern Bloc. Some of these partners have since become members of the Alliance. Today, working with non-member countries and other organizations is considered to be one of NATO's fundamental tasks. It works with 40 partner countries, as well as with other international organizations, like the United Nations and the European Union. Thank you. 